Living free from prison. Yeah. What's up, everybody in the chat? The shade, the shade. No, what up? What's up? What's up? Hey, Tyrone. Doing? Yeah. Man, how do, how do you feel after All that? right, because I got nothing. Feel, I mean, do you feel like you want to take a nap? Or do you feel like, you know, you're happy it's over? Do you feel like you've been fulfilled? It's like the... Uh, it's like watching that sequel that you've been watching for years, and then basically the last episode they just show the people turning off the TV, like you got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like they still wanted to explain the drama, but in the end, they wanted to clean it up, but literally showed their only couple on day one. So, you know, that's what it felt like. It felt like they were just trying to clean it up. Yeah. And then, too, I'm going to say this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Out of all the couples, and because some of us really do want to see, like, a real connection and want to see love and, like, a yeah. love story. You know what I mean? So it's like you have your toxic couple, you have your slow couple, you have your mm -hmm. boring couple, you have your couple that's really here for love. So it's right. like, you know, it's like a balance. So I feel like this season... Cynthia and Anthony was our that couple that made us go. We still got hope, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You understand? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And but, then but we then... see them at the reunion, and she like this. Right. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> we like, oh yeah. damn! The only little bit of hope we got is right. gone. But but if we go, just just think about this here. If we look at the cast, we'll say seventy percent of the cast was hogwash, right? And I'll tell you why. Let me just, let me go name by name. Corvea, the only thing we learned about her was that she's a gold dig digger or whatever. She wasn't about nothing but gold digging. I'm not saying, and let me just say, let me clarify this before people start running with this. I am not saying that this is who they are. I'm telling you what we're seeing on TV. I don't know these folks. Then you got Fabrice, sex maniac, right? Tony, he's a monster and he, he's always angry, right? Um, then you have Jeffrey, who seems like she always wants to kick up drama. But at the same time, uh, you know, whatever. Like, then you have Morgan. Everything, like, there, there's all of, it's all led with negativity, right? And I know that they didn't just get a pool of negative people and put them in the room. They don't do that. Yeah, and then you have Blake, who's, uh, I don't know what they say, manipulator and, uh, you know, just off-putting or whatever, you know. These are people. Like, these are human beings. Like, no, you're not just going out here and cultivating you know, uh, uh, curating a, a list of people with bad attributes to put them on the show. So give us some damn substance with this stuff. So basically, it's like dating in the real world. <laughs> we have we have a ten percent chance. That you're gonna <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you, but when you think about that, Ty, look at that picture, man. Look at what you learned about these people. Nothing good, with the exception of maybe one or two people. Um, I think, you know, honestly, I think some people got a bad rep early. I think they got a bad, you know, I was complaining about Z's dates early, you know, because she got hooked up with Blake early. And I think I think a, a date with Z and Lyndon would have been good right. early, you know, Um but yeah, like it's it's a it's a season. I I mean, I get to the get to thinking like what do we expect? And if we got what we expected, would we still even be happy about it? I mean, I think that it would make it would give, you know, more purpose and context to what's act what the goal actually is, right? Because I'm sure I'm sure that there are really good moments in these shows that we're not seeing but we definitely see all the bad moments of the show yeah i mean 
I at this point I understand they got to sell the show. Yeah, you have to. You have but to. It's, it's tough seeing them not focus on some of the things that you know I personally would have been focused on. Right. Yeah, that's 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 the my biggest gripe. It's like I want to see people be human beings. I get it. You can show drama and maybe create the storylines, but give me a little bit of substance with my plate of drama. That's it. Excuse me. That's it. Yeah. I, I might have missed it, Sabrina. What do you think? What do you think? You know what? I'm, y'all don't have to ask me a question again, but let me just huh. say this because I saw someone put it in the chat, but someone actually just DM'd it to me too. Uh-huh. Um, Carlos just dropped a video that he did with Tony. Mm. He interviewed Tony. Okay. He dropped the video with Morgan uh, earlier. Earlier. Okay. You know, Carlos King is the creator of Love and Marriage DC right. and Love and Marriage Huntsville. Mm-hmm. Right. Say. I wonder, I want you guys to put it put it in the chat and I want to let y'all know. Let me ask y'all. If Morgan and Tony It would be brilliant. It would be brilliant. I just TV. said the same thing. Oh, you did? At well, to that person. Oh. I oh, said yeah. Carlos it would be King brilliant TV. is a very smart man. And I said he knows exactly what he's doing. Right. Yeah. It's gonna be at the it's kind of like uh, we're, we're selfish, right? Like we want to see entertainment. Like, do I want Mary J. Blige to be happy? No, I want Mary J. Blige to make some hurtful <laughs> music. Exactly. I want that in her voice. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. Is it at mm-hmm. the at the the mercy of Mary J. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would it be at the mercy of Morgan? Yeah. But people want to see that entertainment. Yeah, absolutely. And but my thing is, is I feel like if Morgan and Tony even did a show together, me as a producer, I would watch the show, me as a viewer, but me as a producer, it's cool to watch them on Ready to Love, but I feel like who we saw is who they were. If they had their own show, I feel like we wouldn't get the same amount of energy. Right. I think you need to add, <laughs> as much as I hate to say it, you need to add other dates. Still let them go on other dates. To yeah, kinda, see, it, it couldn't just be like got. their show. Exactly. Like it would need, it, it would have to have, it would have to make them have some kind of controversy, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, for yeah, her to be like, you shut up and you stay in your lane. And that, you know what I mean? To have those kind of outbursts because those yeah. are the things that make us go, Wah! you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty okay. sure everything is all good when we're there, when they're together and it's just them two. I'm yeah. pretty sure it's all good. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Unless he's going to add them on another show that he might be coming up with like a whole nother show and they just like how joy and Clifton are on love and marriage DC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe he's going to add Morgan and Tony on another show with other people Mm -hmm. and not necessarily like a dating show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Do y'all remember? I think it was called um, not look temptation Island. Yeah. Something yeah. similar to that. I think that would be hilarious. Yeah, I got to tell y'all, when we get off of here, I'm going to tell y'all some crazy stuff, something stupid. Okay. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Um, but I would definitely, I definitely watch Tony and Morgan before I would want to watch Joy and Clifton. I could definitely yeah. say that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, there's way more, like, sparks. Mm-hmm. To, you know, like, because I, I feel like, with the the way that they have uh, Clifton on there, it's like he's laid back, he's chill. I know Clifton in real life, and mm-hmm. I don't think that's the Clifton, but that's the TV Clifton that they're giving us. But mm-hmm. I know that Clifton probably was, you know, snapping back. But they got him like, just like, okay, come on, you know, come on, baby. Let's-